In the original question, Jody asked me, do you smoke? We would report that question as a statement. Jody asked me if I smoked. In the second question, Jody asked Adam, where do you live? Again, we changed the question to a statement. Jody asked Adam where he lived. What we've done here is added if and dropped a do to the question, do you smoke? There are a limited number of responses to that question. Typically, yes or no. Something very simple. So we add if, drop do, change our pronouns, and shift the tense back to the past. Here, where do you live is a much more open-ended question. Rather than adding if and dropping do, we still drop do and we make our pronoun change and we backshift our tense, resulting in Jody asked Adam where he lived. We have another type of statement that can be made and reported. Those are commands or imperatives. Now, these two examples here. A teacher might tell a student, sit down. And somebody might say, don't smoke. These are special instances. How do we change these into reported speech? The reported speech for these commands would be, the teacher told me to sit down, and the doctor told me not to smoke. Here, what we've done is added the infinitive form of to sit rather than just sit. And as well, we've also added it here in front of smoke, now resulting in the infinitive form of the verb to smoke. In the negative form, as do not, again, we've dropped our do, kept not. The result is, the doctor told me not to smoke. Now, what we can do is change this word told into warned or ordered. In the examples we've just looked at, we use the words said, asked, and told to indicate the reported speech. Of course, there are more. Here's just a few. Advised, suggested, warned, ordered, proclaimed, and explained. We could use any old word so long as it does indicate that we're reporting somebody's speech.